Ellipse by Parallelogram Method. In this video, we will see how to draw an ellipse by the parallelogram method. Here are the instructions to draw. An ellipse has conjugate diameters of 120 mm and 80 mm. 75 degrees is the included angle between them. Using the parallelogram method, draw an ellipse. Here, in this question, the major axis of an ellipse is given as 120 mm and the minor axis is given as 80 mm. The included angle between these axes is given as 75 degrees. We have to construct this ellipse by using a parallelogram method. Therefore, first, we need to draw a parallelogram, having dimensions of 120 mm and 80 mm as shown. Take a ruler and draw a horizontal line of 120 mm in length. Next, take a protractor and mark a point at 75 degrees. Using this point as a reference, draw a line inclined at 75 degrees. After this, take a ruler and mark 80 mm length on this inclined line. Using the drafter or a roller scale draw the remaining as shown. Do the naming of this parallelogram as A, B, C, and D. After this, we need to divide this parallelogram into four equal parts. We know this length is 120 mm, half of this will be 60 mm, mark a point 6 cm from point A. Similarly, mark a point 60 mm away from point D. Name these points as R and S. Join these two points with a line. Next, we know the height is 80 mm, and half of 80 mm will be 40 mm. Take a ruler and mark 40 mm from the top, and name this point as P. Similarly, Mark another point on this vertical line at 40 mm. Name this point as Q. Mark this intersection point at the center as O. Therefore, we got four equal parts of this parallelogram. In each of these parts of a parallelogram, one-fourth of an ellipse will come. To get this one-fourth of an ellipse, we have to divide this line into some equal divisions. The number of divisions can be anything, we just have to remember that each division should be equal in length. Since we know the length of this line is 60 mm, therefore, each point will be 15 mm, or 1.5 cm away. Using a ruler, mark points at 1.5 cm. Name these points as 1, 2, and 3. Similarly, we have to divide this vertical length into four parts. This length is 40 mm, therefore, each point will be 10 mm, or 1 cm away from the other. Take a ruler and mark points at 10 mm lengths. After marking these points, do the naming, 1 dash, 2 dash, and 3 dash. Next, we need to join all these points to point R. After this, we need to draw lines from point S to these inclined lines, passing through these points. Take a ruler. Draw a line from point S to this line 1-R, passing through point 1. Mark this intersection point as R1. Next, draw a line from point S to this line 2-R, passing through point 2. Mark this intersection point as R2. At last, draw a line from point S to this line 3-R, passing through point 3. Mark this intersection point as R3. If we join these points, P, R1, R2, R3, and R, we get one-fourth of an ellipse. Next, to get another one-fourth of an ellipse, we will follow the same process. Take a ruler and divide this QC length into four parts. Each part will be one centimeter in length. Name these points as 1 dash, 2 dash, and 3 dash. Next, divide this OQ length into four divisions. Each division will be 1.5 centimeters in length. Mark these points as 1, 2, and 3. After this, join these points to this point R. Draw a line from point S to this line 1 R, passing through point 1. Mark this intersection point as R6. Next, draw a line from point S to this line 2 R, passing through point 2. Mark this intersection point as R5. At last, draw a line from point S to this line 3-R, passing through point 3. 
Mark this intersection point as R4. If we join these points, R, R4, R5, R6, and Q, we get the second one-fourth of an ellipse. Similarly, follow the same steps on the remaining two areas. Divide this line PA into four parts and name these points as 1 dash, 2 dash, and 3 dash. Next, join these points to point S. And draw a line from point R to this line 1 dash S, passing through point 1. Mark this intersection point as S1. Next, draw a line from point R to this line 2 dash S, passing through point 2. Mark this intersection point as S2. At last, draw a line from point R to this line 3 dash R, passing through point 3. Mark this intersection point as S3. If we join these points, P, S1, S2, S3, and S, we get a third one-fourth of an ellipse. At last, divide this line QB into four parts and name these points as 1 dash, 2 dash, and 3 dash. Next, join these points to point S. And draw a line from point R to this line 1 dash S, passing through point 1. Mark this intersection point as S6. Next, draw a line from point R to this line 2 dash S, passing through point 2. Mark this intersection point as S5. At last, draw a line from point R to this line 3 dash R, passing through point 3. Mark this intersection point as S4. If we join these points, S, S4, S5, S6, and Q, we get the third one-fourth of an ellipse. To get an ellipse, we have to join all these points. Draw curves using a French curve. This is our final ellipse. We can see that ellipse by parallelogram method is similar to that of an ellipse by rectangle method. The only difference is that there is an included angle between the axis. I hope you have understood how to draw an ellipse by the parallelogram method. If you like this video click on the like button, and if you are new to ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications to get all my latest videos.